Hey everybody. Well, today is part one of a long series of videos that I'm going to be making building this guy right here, this R2-D2. So this R2-D2 is from a company called Fan Home and it's a bottle kit that you're going to build that has metal and plastic parts. And uh, when I say a long set of videos, a long series, I'm talking about two years long. That's how long it's going to take to build this thing. This kit was originally from a company called D'Agostini, and it is now uh, through a company called Fan Home, which is, I think, actually D'Agostini still. Um, for some reason, it's just a different name. So you're going to build, build this piece by piece. It's going to be, uh, it's like a subscription-based thing where they're going to send you four sets of parts every month, and then you'll just keep building it until you're all done. There's going to be 100 sets of parts through the whole build, and that's why it takes two months. Uh, I'm sorry, two years. And then uh, the first set of parts you get uh, you'll get the first two sets, issue one and issue two, like you see here. So this is issue one. Now they send you these magazines, and I'm not really going to go through these magazines all that much. I mean, there's some cool information here about, you know, R2-D2 and uh, some behind-the-scenes stuff and kind of how he was developed. And uh, things like this are kind of funny because anytime you see these where they show what the components are, it's always different in every uh, <laughs> diagram. It's, you know, the, the components are called something else. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff here. So uh, throughout this whole series, I'll just kind of flip through these magazines. Um, and then, because I think most people are going to be more interested in the build itself. These are the parts that you're going to get for this set. And um, there's not much to build in these first two sets. I think it's just to kind of get your foot through the door. And then these are the instructions that tell you what you're going to do. And this R2 is fully functional. He's got electronics. He's going to make his sound effects. All the little lights in his head are going to work. Um, let's see. He's got these two little arms here are going to... Um, open and close. You can open these and take out the uh, utility arms manually. He's going to have a holographic projector that actually works. His little panel on the top of his head is going to have Luke Skywalker's lightsaber come out. Uh, he's remote controlled with an app or you can actually give him verbal commands. And uh, he's got sensors to keep him from bumping into walls. It's really really cool. It's going to be an amazing build. This is uh, issue two because you're going to get the first two sets of parts. More interesting stuff here about R2. They even talk about BB-8 there for a little bit. Some early concepts of R2 there. And they even talk about 3PO. I think protocol droids in general. Some kind of cool scenes that are behind the scenes. They kind of tell you about how the electronics work that you're going to be using. And then they kind of have the instructions here on how to put the leg together. All right, so let's take a look at some of these parts, and I'll show you what the quality of them are, because it's pretty good. Okay, so these are the first two issues of parts that we're going to start the whole thing on. So I should probably discuss the price of this kit. It's not a cheap kit. I'm just warning you ahead of time, this is not going to be a cheap project. The total cost of this, when you're all finished, is going to be a little over $1,600. So yeah, it is not a cheap kit. But the good thing is... You're paying monthly, which makes it a whole lot easier to afford this. So um, every month you'll pay about $65 a month to get four of these packages of parts. Now this is the first issue, so they just send you two, and they start you off, you know, nice and easy. It was only seven or eight dollars for these two issues, and then every subsequent month after that is going to be $65, and you'll get four packages of parts. There are 100 packages of parts total into this whole model. And that's why it takes you about two years to build this whole thing. Now, I'm hoping somewhere along the line, Fan Home is going to offer some kind of a deal where maybe you can speed up the process and get, uh, you know, a couple of extra kits per month or maybe the, double the kits and maybe double the, you know, the price or maybe some kind of deal. Uh, because two years is a long time to stretch this out. And plus, you're not going to use every part on every um, issue. So you're going to have to kind of find a way to store these pieces around. So, uh, you know, and keep it, keep track of them. But anyway... That's how this works. So let's go ahead and start with uh, package number one here, and I'll show you what all the parts are, because that's the one we're going to start off with. All right, so once you get all these parts out of the package, this is what you have. Now, uh, one recommendation I might suggest is you take a nice soft towel or a cloth down on the table surface that you're going to be working on, because you're going to be screwing parts and stuff, and you don't want to be accidentally pushing on a hard surface of a table and accidentally scratch some of these nicely painted pieces and you know mess something up. And then another thing is, um, you're going to be working with some tiny little screws and you'll probably have some left over. So I went and bought this little box at Walmart. Just go to their sporting goods section where the fishing supplies are. It's like a little tackle box. And that way you can put your leftover screws and your screwdriver and everything in here. 
And uh, these little things can come out and you can move them around wherever you want, but that just kind of makes it a little, a little easier because I don't think that uh, this set is going to come with one of these. All right, so um, these screws, speaking of which, are pretty tiny. There are some black ones here, as you can see, and uh, there's some silver. And the directions just say silver screws or black screws, so I guess that's what you're going to be working with. It does come with a little screwdriver, and I have a couple of extras of these laying around just in case uh, this one is not very good. But I don't know, it looks pretty decent. I think this is all you're going to need to put this together um, if you don't do any modifications. Here is the wiring that you're going to need, and this is the electronic circuit for... The LED lights, these are the red and green lights for uh, R2's eye. And then this is the little housing that it goes into. This is a really cool lens. It has like a honeycomb type of design in it that's going to go over that, uh, that circuit. This is the, I don't know what you call it, it's a big sensor that's on his, the front of his head. And there will be a lens for that later. I think there's, actually there's going to be a camera in there, which is really cool. This piece here, I thought it was going to be metal, but it's actually plastic. So yeah, I don't know how much of this kit's going to be metal and how much of it's going to be plastic, but uh, anyway. All right, so let's start with the first uh, part of the assembly. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is we take the little housing here, and then we take the circuit board. You can see the little socket right there. So this socket goes through this hole. Just match it up like that so that it fits in there. All right, and then these three holes should match up with these three holes. And then we're going to use three of these little black screws to put it in. So let me get that done. Okay, so once you get the screws in, this is what it looks like. And you want to make sure you don't over tighten those screws. Just put them in snug, but don't put them in too tight because you don't want to break the uh, circuit board on there. All right, so the next step is we're going to need this wire. And you'll notice there's two different size sockets. There's a bigger one here and a smaller one. So we're going to be using this smaller one. And it's going to go in here, and you got to make sure you put it in properly. So you'll notice these little uh, ridges, right? Or there's a little slot right there, and that's where that little nub right there is going to go in. All right, and then these pins have to fit in there just right. So the pins are a little bit higher up on this side. So let me see. Notice how the holes are a little higher up there. So you want to match that. So it's going to go in like this. Okay. And just put these in. And it just pushes right in there like that. I don't know if it clicks or not, but it's in there pretty snug. All right, and then this one's going to go to wherever it goes in a future step. So that's it for uh, set number one or issue number one. I mean, it's pretty quick. There's not much to do here. And then these pieces, all you're going to use these later on in the build, including the uh, this thing too. All right, so let's go on to issue two. Okay, so in issue two, these are the parts you're going to get. So this is the main leg section. Um, this is actually plastic. And then uh, these are all metal. All these details, these are actually metal parts. And uh, these as well. Those are the bolts. These little sections here for the leg piston. Not sure what that is yet. And uh, the screws that you had left over from the issue one, the silver ones, you're going to be using them on here. And you're also going to be using... Uh, this piece also that was from issue one. Now, uh, one thing I got to point out, and you guys know, uh, those of you who watch my videos know that when it comes to R2-D2, um, the bolts on his leg, or legs, I should say, uh, they should go on the front. And um, most of the time you see R2-D2, the bolts are on the front and the piston thing over here is on the back. Uh, sometimes you'd see the bolts in the back, but that was because the prop guys kind of screwed up and put the legs on backwards, or they put this plate on backwards, and it's just a continuity error. Um, unfortunately, this kit is going to have you put the bolts on the back, which uh, just drives me nuts. I, uh, those of you who watched my LEGO uh, UCS R2-D2, the original one, I actually did a modification to change that. Now, I was hoping maybe I could just change this um, shoulder plate with the other leg when I start building that. But the problem is I think these are going to go in these two screws here and these two screws here. So since these are narrower and these are wider apart, there's no way you're going to be able to flip it to the other side and, you know, interchange them, which is unfortunate. I did read somewhere that I think somebody um, modified this with magnets. I probably put magnets in here to, uh, you know, clip them in. And that is definitely an option. But honestly, I don't really know if I really want to screw around with this too much. I think it's probably best to just kind of build it the way it is. So my OCD is just going to have to uh, <laughs> suffer and have to deal with the bolts in the back. All right. Well, anyway, let's get started on this part. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shoulder plate here and we're going to take this little piston piece. Now you got to make sure you do this right. Uh, the shorter piece is up here and the longer piece is on the bottom. So you want to make sure that the short piece goes on top and it just fits right in here. You just match up the holes and uh, you'll see on the back. And then you're going to take two of those silver screws and put those on. So let me get that done. All right, so once you've got that fastened in place, that's what it looks like. I got to say, these parts are beautiful. I mean, these are really nicely done. I mean, even the plastic pieces look good. These metal pieces are, I mean, look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. I'm loving this already. All right, so the next step are these bolts. These are metal as well. Now you'll notice these have two holes at the top. So those are going to go on top. And you'll also notice there's a little notch right here. So that notch has got to go inside that little notch right there. So they, these just go in. They're, they're keyed, so they can only go in one way, like that. Okay, and then you want to put the other one in here. Let me see this thing. All right, so we've got to match that up as well, just like that. And now we're going to use two more of the silver screws to put that on. So let me do that. Okay, so those screws are now in place, and those are all ready to go. All right, so the next step here now are these. It's this little piston. This is These are both metal parts. So now we're going to put this end into this end, and you'll notice the flat spot right there. So you got to match it up with the flat spot on here. So yeah, we just turn it this way, and they can only go in one way. And then we're going to super glue that. You have to actually put some super glue on there. So let me get uh, a little bit of glue on here. Just enough. You don't want it to seep out. Okay, let's see if that's going to be enough. Let's take a look at this now. All right. There we go. So we'll just have to let that kind of sit for a minute. And so I'm just using Gorilla Glue. That Gorilla Glue gel, actually, the gel's better because it doesn't run. All right, so we'll let that sit for a minute and let that set. All right, so while this is drying, make sure that you uh, keep an eye on it and make sure that it's straight because there is a little bit of play in here, you know, it might wiggle a little bit. So yeah, you want to make sure that dries straight. All right, so the next step now is we're going to take this big leg piece here, and this is actually going to go right in these little two holes right here. You got to make sure you got it going the right way. So this longer stretch goes at the top. And then on the back here, we're going to use the last two remaining silver screws to fasten that in place. So let me get that done. All right, so once that is in place, that's what that looks like. So you won't have any screws left over in this particular issue, uh, issues one and two, I should say. All right, so the next step is this little thing. This is going to be going on the top of that piston. And we have this little cap right here that goes inside there with this little pin. So we're going to take a little bit of glue once again and put a little bit on this in this little post. I'm you know, not sure if I'm going to need that much. It's pretty small. Okay, and then we're going to put it in here. Okay, and we'll just let that sit for a little bit. We put a little bit more just down inside here just to make sure it stays. Don't want things popping out. By the way, um, the screws that are used on this thing are really small, so you have to be really careful not to lose them. So uh, yeah, and hopefully they'll give me some extras later on down the road just in case I do lose them because you know you're bound to drop one or two on the floor. All right, so we'll go on to the next step now. All right, so sorry I was out of camera range a little bit on that last segment. It's hard to watch what I'm doing and then make sure that I'm filming everything right. <laughs> All right, so this is the next part. So this little slot is going to go into this little slot here. So you're going to actually make it go like this. So this leans. So you're going to glue this in place, but see how there's a little bit of play in here? So you need to make sure you're actually laying it even with that bottom edge. You don't want it to go up like this. You want it to kind of sit flush. So you'll have to hold that for a little while. So let's go ahead and get some more glue here. And just put a little bit on this slot. I think that might be a little bit too much right there. Okay. There's that. Let's 
see. Actually, I want to put a little bit more in here. Because it sits at an awkward angle, you don't want it to uh, pop off by accident, especially because it sticks out a little bit. Okay, that should hopefully be enough. All right, so let's go ahead and put this part on now. Okay. All right, so I'll have to hold that on for a little while and then we'll let that set for just a couple of minutes. Yeah, okay, so this has had a couple of minutes to dry now. So make sure it's straight going that way and make sure it's resting properly that way. So um, the directions tell you that you can go ahead and put this piece on here, but you're not going to permanently affix this until a little bit later. So you just got to match up those pins to the proper holes here. So I, I don't know if I want to go ahead and, I guess I'll go ahead and put these on. Because um, you don't have the screws or the hardware to put this part on yet. But they said you can go ahead and put it on now, so I'm guessing that's just going to happen later. So you can see how these poke right through here. Looks like there is two, four, six areas to hold that on so yeah looks like that's how that's gonna go I think there's gonna be a metal frame in here to help reinforce this because this is just plastic so far is my guess so uh, hopefully that'll be in the next step but uh, yeah I'm not sure all right well that's it for uh, issue number two there's really not well there was a little more to that than issue one but yeah that was fun so um, that finishes uh, part one of this video. So all these videos are going to be labeled the same. I'll just, the part number is just going to be different. So this will probably say something like um, part one, building the fan home R2-D2. And then they'll all be titled the same way. It'll be part two, part three, and so on. So um, these come in monthly and I'll still be doing my other videos in between. I'll just have the build of R2-D2 sprinkled in between those. So. So keep an eye out for those, and hopefully you'll stay tuned and follow me along uh, with this uh, crazy build. It should be pretty fun. A two-year build. Uh, hopefully, I, like I said, I can speed this up and get the parts a little bit quicker. But this is really cool so far. I'm really loving this thing, and <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, well, if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe as well. Uh, hit that bell. That way you can get notifications when the next part of this is going to come up. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next part and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again and have a good one.